Hey Pisces, how y'all doing? It's your girl Ruth. <laughs> Ruth Beckham. Welcome back to another your series. Trying to wind it up. Got three more to go. This one and two more. See what's going on. And this is about blood types. And this if you're a negative blood type, this reading is for you. Okay. So let's see. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's go here with my little, little bag. See what the answers to God, the divine source, whatever you believe in, want to say. Let's see. Uh, okay, it says uh, kids don't like stepdad. <coughs> we'll set him up to get him out of the house. Okay, interesting. Alrighty, let's do my little cards. <clears throat> See what they want to say. And we got white, purity, innocence, sense of space, highlights, wholesome, completion. Okay. Oh, shoot. Step on my finger. Then we got, can you be alone and join your own company? Would you like? Okay. Then we have, do you say please, thank you, and excuse me? Okay. Stealing babies by bloodline and type. Okay. Then we got um, green, greed, and money, our money. Freshness, progress, United States, rebirth, Mother Earth, immortality. Okay. And we got poison, also used for predators. Okay, then we got haunted. Ask them what they want, producer. Okay. And we got knife, took control of your body, took control of your body. Okay. Learn my lessons with you and I'm gone. Deuces, peace. And we got surprise, uh, visitor or package bomb. Help yourself or don't be afraid to ask. Okay. And we got worry about what's going to happen next in the world. Sickly spouse or can't leave. Okay. No more sickness and disease. Free, free your mind, heal yourself through your mind, through your mind, okay? Let's see. Other ones want to say. Uh, dragons, hum humanoids, mystical monsters, chaos or evil, fire breathing, East Asia, fertility, water, heavens, lords, serpentine, serpentine, Legendary creature, regions, horned, four-legged fire, supernatural power, wisdom, strength, hidden knowledge, untamed nature, dragon spirit, intelligent dignity, contagious enthusiasm, authority, guide, guide towards brilliance, enlightenment. Okay. Boo de Carl, late at night. Wealth is better. <clears throat> Peace be still. You doing too much, stop. And we got pyramids, royal tombs of the pharaohs, life after death, west bank of the Nile, of the setting sun, soul of the dead pharaohs, ancient death and or and beginning of a journey to other worlds. Okay. And we got child marriage, Bible, and in some part of the world. Okay. Someone coming to help you accept it. Canada. Can I go? Meditation. 
Lights up, life, luxury. Okay. Alrighty then. <clears throat> Okay, we're gonna go ahead and do start off with Tero and see what they want to say. Okay, we got the tower. Okay, Mars fire catastrophe accident things happening very quickly at lightning speed. So I suggest you get survival kits, prayed up meditation crystals, whatever. Change is coming. Okay. Then we got the fool. Uranus air. Good friends. Happiness. Needing to take a leap of faith. A giant leap forward. So it's reversed. So you might have to buckle down. Don't be a fool and ignore what's coming. Okay. Be prepared. And we have Two of Cups, Second Deacon, Cancer, Venus, Peace of Mind, joining of the two. So either you're joining up someone you care about, or it means joining, getting heads together for whatever catastrophe or accident or change is coming. Okay. Get your resources, get your mind together. Strategizing. Then we got the temperance reverse, sage, money restrictions, testing the water. So this is not going to be a test. <clears throat> you need to have a uh, divine, it's already told you maybe, because it's reverse. Don't ignore, or maybe you ignoring it, the warning. Hopefully not. And we got four swords. Third Deacon, Libra, Jupiter. Sickness, bed illness, needing to take time out. Rest and relaxation is needed. It's reversed, so that means you should have already been studied. See the book there? Uh, the I said the witch at the pew. Uh, things maybe you need to be doing. Your swords, you're supposed to have everything together. Heal yourself, okay? Got your rest and relaxation. I say that about this year. Everybody should have really researched and got themselves together. What's to come next? That's my perception of it. Okay, they gave us a whole year of preparing. It's for our good, if you look at it like that, you know. And we have the Empress, Venus, Earth, Air. Delays will prove necessary. So whatever's going to be delayed, congratulations if you're pregnant or delaying the pregnancy, whatever the deal may be, in abundance. Uh, you still have it, okay? But if they're going to be disaster, you know, I always think this is like red on here. I don't know why I feel them stab wounds. I'm sorry, y'all. Uh, but anyway, <clears throat> so, delay on your abundance, Empress. Pay attention. Then we have Knight of Swords, Taurus, Gemini, First Deacon, Earth and air, young man to 25 years, speedy situation of finish, fire, truth. So, no one's coming. It says on the cards it did say someone's coming to help, but you should already be figured out everything you need to be, need to figure out, okay? The truth, know the truth and everything already. And if you want to stay blinded in it, your choice. First Deacon Taurus, Mercury, Five of Pentacles, delays around money coming in from the cold. Could leave you homeless without anything. Okay. Um, you might not have any money. You might not have whatever's going on. You probably might can't take none of that with you anyway. So learn how to live with money or without money. You know what I'm saying? It's learn how to survive off the land. Five of Wands, First Deacon Leo, Saturn, arguments, battles around you. So people going to be all upset. It's going to be a lot of chaos and uh, doing all kind of crazy stuff. You need to stay calm, okay, because you've been warned ahead, and I'm pretty sure we all get warned. We just ignore things, and then networking also that could be building together, making gardens, making, you know, food to eat 
different stuff up, survival ways, uh, networking on the internet, without the internet, your neighbor, you know. We got four of wands, third deacon, Aries, Venus, happy home, possible country setting. So everything is going to be uh, flipped over, okay? Homes. Some kind of uh, weather or some kind of something is going to flip everything or people are going to be out in the cold. You know what I'm saying? Or hiding in the house, one of the two. They ain't going to understand. Everything's going to be flipped upside down. Then we got high priestess, moon, water, highest card in the tarot deck, very powerful, good or bad, secrets to be revealed. So it's reversed. So if you've been ignoring the secrets and ignoring what's been told you, ignoring your intuition, not saving your money or not getting prepared for what's going to happen, you're going to be stuck. So time is now to get prepared for whatever it may be. I'm oh, sorry, y'all. Let's see what my um, Egyptian cards are going to say. Some kind of shake up could be at work, could be whatever. You know, some kind of change coming. Relationship, whatever. And the relationship means a whole lot of stuff. A two of cup reverse this time. We got the horseman. We got the sun. Queen, and we got Hangman. Okay, let's see. Uh, two of Cups. That's Cancer and Scorpio. A letter from a loved one, so that's going to be reversed. Maybe they can't reach loved ones at this point. So that's why it's important to already have that in place. I was telling my kids about being separated for me, what to do when we're not together, you know. Maybe some kind of plan in place right now. Then we have number four, Deborah Taurus. You know, that's money. So let's see. Um, four swords. News of sickness or death as well. I think that's Venus. So everything beautiful is going to be turned around. It's going to be a lot of chaos. What we thought was beautiful. It's going to be messed up. Then we got the rider, the horseman. And let's see. That's cups. Denotes love or affection, right way up. They are sincere and to the client's advantage. Okay, so somebody's coming in, they're sincere. Uh, who's going to come in or who's telling you or whatever the deal may be, okay? There's a big old heart on there, so they really love you. One maybe one is ahead of time. And we got 17. The star. Okay. Truth, hope, and faith. Spiritual immortality. Light. Illuminates the spirit. Hope. That is hope is the sister of faith. Shedded thy passions and thy errors in order to study the mysteries of truth, science, and thy key will be given thee. Then a ray of divine light will break from the occult sanctuary in order to dis dissipate the shadows of thy future and show thee the way of happiness. Whatever may happen in life, never in endure the flower of hope, and thou wilt gather the fruits of thy faith. So have hope in whatever's going on that was meant to happen. Okay, and uh, time for change. And we got Q, Queen. And that's Queen of Coins. And that is uh, Libra. Signifies a person who by Libra. Good, high-minded, noble, and amiable. Right way up the notes of Libra woman. 
I balance. So you need to balance things out. Get things in order. Okay. Let's see what Queen of uh, Diamonds is. What does the Queen of Diamonds mean? According to meta symbology, Queen of Diamond meaning domination in the realm of values. Karma tilde financial security at all cost. Some of our greatest philanthropists are the Queen of Diamonds. So karma is coming. Okay. Period that. That's Libra. And then we had a hangman. Which they don't call it hangman. Let's see what it is in the book number 12. <clears throat> the martyr. Sacrifice, exploration, spiritual world, the revealed law, perception of duty, sacrifice. So you might have to sacrifice. Or if somebody want to sacrifice you, I might have to sacrifice not living in a comfort zone anymore, anymore, you know, and learning how to live all kind of ways and it could be sacrifices coming divine law from which none is exempt but except in any in integrate in gratitude for men always hold our soul in readiness to render its account to it, the eternal a violent death will spread its snare upon the way but the world attempts thy earthly life do not die without accepting the resignation this decree of God and pardon thy cruelest enemies for whosoever does not forgive here below will be condemned in the next life to eternal solitude so get your house in order get yourself in order you know forgive people let things go because we're going to all need each other period let's see what my Tatiana card is going to say. We have thoughts, words from the divine. Okay. Thinking, worrying. Have, to have love. Time to love. Time to forgive. Ancestors. Tree of life. Snake. This, net, that, niece. Let's see. Ah, let's see. So the lucky card, the, uh, the clover, blooming and positive. So things not going to be blooming. It's not going to be positive. It's going to be negative. Okay. Thoughts, possible worries. People going to be worried. You know, affairs going to be out of order. Then we have the heart, but there's love there. It's all happening for our benefit. A happy, positive card symbolizing, of course, love. Got to love each other and help each other during these times. What's to come? Then we have the tree. Symbolizes growth. A state of affairs will grow and complete and beginning, becoming stronger. So if it's nothing going to be, everything going to be in chaos. Ancestors still got us. Don't think they don't. But they went through some their own stuff from the beginning of time. So we have to in order to get these things in order. Then we got the snake reversed. A tricky card can be deceit if surrounded by negative cards, can be wisdom if surrounded by strong cards. So that's feminine energy as well, but it's not deceit, it's things that's supposed to happen. That's the way of the earth, the way of the world, the way of the universe. You know, things supposed to happen like this for change to happen. Then we got the lily, and that's in the right position, a bright card meaning one's professional life or sometimes illness, neither positive nor negative. So people are going to be getting sick. They're probably going to do another virus and all that kind of crap. Or stress that one virus they've been holding on like it ain't been a bunch of virus from the beginning. Um, something flowering is usually relates to business or to professional life or someone in reading. In certain circumstances, may also relate to illness. This card regularly indicates someone involved in the business life of the person read for. It may may make another card work related. So I'm thinking you 
might have to be the one to help everybody stay together, keep their minds together. Okay, you know, whatever situation may be, it could be in your house, in your chaos. You know, because we did have the first one, the kids getting rid of the stepdad. Maybe that's a big old change in chaos. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever, whatever it is for you. You know what I'm saying? Did I do? I didn't do medical. Let's see what they want to say. Medical. Give you the heads up of someone or you or whoever may be. We got breast exercise, check knots and spots. Uh, we got wait, forgive someone today, deceased or living for your health or theirs or others. Forgive yourself. They was talking about that already. Hands, hands on, whatever, maybe planting, gardening, whatever it may be. It's up to you. Take care of your fingers, toes, and nails. Maybe you need a pedicure, manicure, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see. We got, I am need. I am not needy. I don't need drugs to survive. Mother Nature's plants. I am a clean person. I bathe, clean my house, space, car, and after myself. I let others know if I'm freaky. I do not put spells or wish wrong to anyone because I know it comes back to me and mine. Okay. Then we got affirmations of truth. I don't know what's best all the time. I know I know my self work. I can let go of people, places, and things. I am not a narcissist. I don't control people. I only control myself. Let's do a shock of wisdom and get on up out of here. Yeah, we all need to get prepared for something. I don't know everybody don't think everything is over with. We haven't changed yet. They still want to keep us in slavery and bondage, and people still got that in their mindset. You know, it's not it's not done. Third chakra, solar plexus, oneness and unity. I accept the oneness of all life, and I know I am one with all others on this journey. I support them and let them support me. I am brave and not afraid to ask for assistance. I allow myself to empathize and sympathize with others, and I choose to see the love in all around me. I see everything as part of my own life, and I accept others for who they are. I find common ground with others rather than differences, as this brings harmony into my life and into theirs. Hello. Passage, Pisces, the last sign, letting everybody know we need to come together. You're the divine. You're the divine sign. Close to the creators. Okay? All right, Pisces, what I have for you. This is Shigeru Ruth signing off. If you like, subscribe, share, and comment, I really appreciate it. Hope it helps in some type of way. Okay? Love y'all. Bye.